It was do or die time for the Southern Ohio Copperheads and they came out on top in round one of the GL SCL postseason. They took down the Stark County Terriers 10 to three. And this was an interesting ball game, Kevin. Started out kind of slow. It looked like Stark County may have the advantage, but then we got a pretty good start from Justin Brantley, some great relief pitching. And I think that really set the table for what the offense did. Yeah, it really did. Justin Brantley struggled a bit uh, to start the game, but he really got rolling uh, after the first inning or so. And then as you said, the bullpen, as always, just excellent and did a really nice job uh, to set the table for the offense. The lineup early in the ball game had quite a few strikeouts. They really couldn't get things going. They left a bunch of ran runners stranded. I think it was four in the first four innings, but after that they kind of exploded. They had a three run inning and then a four run inning in the eighth and that kind of just propelled them to this victory. Yeah, Terriers pitcher Casey Wilson, he was very good to start the game, uh, but as time wore on, the Copperheads started to solve him and then as they got into the bullpen, they really came through and put up runs in a bunch. Uh, so it was really nice to see the Copperheads offense come through after struggling a bit to start this one. After the ball game, we caught up with a couple of the players. Yeah. They gave us their thoughts on this victory. Not a top ball, like there's there's more room for improvement, but as, where we are right now, uh, everyone's tired, everyone's hurt. So for as for where we are now and how we're playing, it's, it's like close to the top. Something like Cody came in being a starter and stuff like that. and. I honestly think he was starter middle relief until uh, Garrett left, and then we kind of just rotated. Josh was the eighth inning guy, and then I went to the eighth inning, and it's all worked out good. It's real good. Again, following the victory, the Copperheads will advance into round two of this postseason, and Kevin, what that means is that the Copperheads are now in the best two out of three format. The do or die is done, and they will take on the top-ranked Cincinnati Steam as they move forward. The interesting thing about the way the playoffs are set up, though, is that game one will be here at home. They'll play at Bob Wren Stadium tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Get out here if you can for that ball game or listen to our broadcast. And then games two and three go on the road. You had two Cincinnati to play out there at the high school that they play at. How do you think they'll fare in this kind of a setup? Well, there's no denying that the Cincinnati Steam have been one of the best teams in the GLSEL, and they certainly earned that number one seed. But the Copperheads have played very well against the Steam this year. They took three out of the four games in the series. And as you said, since they started home, I really like their chances to do very well in this series. So again, one final time, make sure you get out to the ballpark tomorrow if you can. First pitch, 730. And if not, Kevin and I will broadcast on Power 105 in Athens. And also, you can always listen on CopperheadBaseball.com. Just click on the home link or the away link, depending on where the game will be at. Also, make sure you look into all of our social media. I say it every time, the Facebook page, the Twitter page at Go Copperheads, and the YouTube page. We constantly have videos being put there. Just search Copperheads Baseball and you'll find our account. But with that being said, he's been Kevin Noonan. I've been Ryan Boyd, and this has been a recap of the first round playoff win for the Copperheads, 10-3 over the Stark County Terriers.